What's happening YouTube? Bickford's RS3 here and today is part two on our service. We're going to do the front differential. I already took off the splash guard. I did that last night. Save us some time. We will need five mil Allen. Uh, you'll need two new plugs, axle oil, that's my GoPro stand, LOL. Uh, I got a small 5mm Allen just in case. Bucket, got a pump, already some stuff coming out from the rear. And what else do we need? That's about it. So we'll get to it. And the reason why I'm doing this is because there's like nothing on the front bevel box or differential or transfer case, whatever you want to call it. Um, I guess we've got to open this up too. Um, we'll just... Okay, cool. So th this is going to be your drain. That's the driver's side wheel, passengers behind us. And then way up here, let's get some light on this. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. I can't see it, but yep, yeah, right there. So not the big nut, but the Allen, that's your fill. So always take that one off first, make sure you can get it out. And uh, let's go, let's go from here. It's, it's uh, let's see how this is. That goes in nice. Don't need an extension. Definitely don't need an extension. This is not needed. Just this will do. Try not to block you guys as much. Shit balls. Just going by touch, can't really see. Alright, I think I'm in there. Oh yeah, you can't see shit. Okay. Well, that cracked fairly easy compared to the rear. Rear was really, really rusted. You had to clean out the the hole. All right, and we got that. Oh, it looks not too bad. Yeah, that's that's the stuff. Yeah, so that's the bolt compared to the rear one. Looks nice. Or the plug, fill plug. here stupid threads don't work properly so. it's the way the, the cap was on the actual OEM stuff it's like kind of different it's got a big lip Yeah, we'll just run it the same way I did with the rear, just kind of pump it. And hopefully we won't spill it like we did before. 
All right, so we got the fill. I'm just going to do the small guy for the drain. Grab a bucket. I'm going to go close up because she's going to come out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it doesn't actually say that you have to change this oil, but I read a lot of people do it every 30,000 miles or whatever. This has got 120,000 kilometers, so I figure I'll do it. It kind of, it looks better than the rear to be honest. Oh, it's still pretty dark. God damn it. Where's the dog? Boom. All right, and we're back. Um, it's still dripping, so I'm just gonna put the plug in. I'm just gonna use the same torque specs as the rear. I think it was 19 newton meters. So I gotta get my torque wrench. I guess uh, I'll be right. All right, we're back again. So it's set for 19.6 newton meters, and that feels about right. There it is. Clicky. Now we have to fill. Oh, get this damn bucket out of here. I'm just going to lay out a rag because I don't want to knock the fuck the bucket over and this over all right so i think the best course of action is to get this oh don't do that again brian god damn it Stiff hose. You guys got a problem with stiff hose? All right, we're in the hole.
so much pumping. All right, as you can see, I've changed bottles because the nozzle fell off inside of it, and then it's too sh too short for it to uh, get to the bottom, anyways. And we're just pumping the last little bit in here. It should start coming out. As you can see, uh, we got the drain plug in, we got the fill plug in, they're both torqued to like 19.6 newton meters or something like that. And uh, part three will be the Halidux.